Hi friends, welcome to Varlakshmi's Physics Classes. From this video onwards, we are starting the NEET practice. Uh, this is on the topic Average Speed and Average Velocity. Let us start the first question. A particle covers half of its total distance with a speed V1. See here, this is the total distance covered by a particle. In that, half of the distance it was covered with a speed V1. And the rest half of the distance it covered with a speed V2. Find the average speed. Let us see. Let it be the total distance covered by a particle is S. Okay. And for first half of the journey, the distance covered by a particle is S by 2. And the remaining half of the distance is S by 2. And the total distance is S. For first half of the distance, Time is T1 and for second half of the distance at the time is T2. Let it be like that. Now we have to find the average speed. Formula for average speed is total distance covered by a particle. Total distance travel upon Total time taken. Okay. Here total distance travelled by a particle is S. Upon total time taken here for first half is T1 and second half of the distance is T2. Now we have to find the values of T1 and T2. We know the formula for speed. Speed is equal to distance upon time see from this time is equal to distance upon speed let for first half of the distance time is t1 which is equal to the total distance is s and for first half of the distance is s by 2 upon Speed for first half the speed is V1 which is equal to S upon V1. This is the time taken for first half of the distance. Let us see for uh, second half of the distance T2. Here it is. Distance is S by 2 and the speed is V2 which is equal to S by 2. 2v2 sorry here it is 2v1 now substitute the values of t1 and t2 here in this equation we will get s upon t1 value is s by 2v1 s upon 2v1 plus here the value of t2 is s upon 2v2 now simplify this Average speed is equal to take the S as common here. So which is 1 by 2 V1 plus 1 by 2 V2. Has S and will get cancelled. Now the remaining quantities are 1 upon 1 by 2 V1 plus 1 by 2 V2. Take the LCM here 1 upon here 2 V1 V2 is the LCM. And we will get here it is V2 plus V1. Now this will be equal to V average is equal to 2 V1 V2 upon V1 plus V2. This is the average speed. See C is the correct option. Let us move on to the next question. See here the second question. A car runs at a constant speed in a circular track. See this is a circular track of radius 100 meter. See this is the radius of this circuit and the radius is given as 100 meters. Radius is given as 100 meters. Taking 62.8 seconds. So, time is also given that is 62.8 seconds. 
for each circular lap find average velocity and average speed for each circular lap that means for one rotation we have to find the average velocity and average speed first let us find the average velocity for that see here average velocity formula is total displacement total displacement upon total time taken see here in this particular case suppose particle was started at this point and completed one rotation and ended at this point so the initial and the final positions are coinciding hence the displacement is zero so average velocity is zero so in this particular case we got average velocity as a zero let us see for average speed see here average speed is equal to formula total distance traveled upon total time taken in this particular case we are finding for each circular lap total distance traveled for one circular rotation is for a circle 2 pi r upon total time taken is let it be t which is equal to 2 into value of pi is 3.14 and here r is the radius of the circuit which is given as 100 meter upon time is also given that is 62.8 so now 2 will get cancelled here in this 31.4 times and multiply 100 with 3.14 which will be 314 upon here it is 31.4. For simplification multiply and divide with 10 so we will get 3140 upon 300 and so which will be get cancelled in 10 times. So, the average speed is equal to 10 meter per second. So, we got here average velocity as 0 and the average speed as 10 meter per second. So, here 0 and 10 meter per second. So, C is the correct answer. Let us see the next question. See here, a car moves a distance of 200 meters. Suppose this is the distance travelled by a car the total distance is 200 meters it covers first half of the distance at a speed 40 km per hour first half of the distance is 40 km per hour with a speed so this is the first half and it is 40 km per hour and the second half of the distance at a speed v the remaining speed is V. The average speed is given as V average is given as 48 km per hour. 48 km per hour. Value of the V is. So we have to find this value of V. Let us see here for first half of the distance is. Here total distance is 200 meter. So it will be equal to 100 meters. And the remaining is. 100 meters so the total distance is 200 meters now the time taken for first half of the distance is let it be t1 and the second half of the distance is t2 let us find v average that means average speed is equal to total distance traveled upon total time taken so which is equal to total distance travel is here it is 200 meter upon total time taken is t1 plus t2 so now we have to find the values of t1 and t2 we know the formula for speed is equal to distance upon time from this formula 
time is equal to distance upon speed see for first half of the distance time is t1 which is equal to the distance for first half is 100 upon speed is given as 40 and for the second half time is t2 and the distance is 100 meter upon speed is given as v. Now let us substitute these values t1 and t2 here in this equation. We will get 200 upon here t1 value is 100 upon 40 value of t2 is 100 upon v. See here the average speed is already given as 48 km per hour. So here I am writing 48 in the place of average speed. 48 is equal to 200 upon take the 100 as common. So which will be 1 by 40 plus 1 by v. Now two zeros and here the two zeros will get cancelled and the two will cancel here 24 times. So now simplify this equation just I am writing this here and this 24 here in the denominator. So which will be equal to 1 by 40 plus 1 by v is equal to 1 by 24 which is equal to 1 by v is equal to 1 by 24 minus 1 by 40. Take the LCM for 24 and 40. 5 threes are 15, 15 twos are 30 and 30 fours are 120. Now 1 by V is equal to 120 upon see here 24 will be here it is 5 times 5 24s are 120 and uh, 3 40s are 120. So which is equal to 2 by 120 and which will be get cancelled in 60 times. This is 1 by V is equal to. That implies V is equal to 60 kilometer per hour. So we got the value of V as 60 kilometer per hour. So here B is the correct option. So like this we used to solve the problems which are based on average speed and average velocity. I am giving you 3 examples for practice. You just do practice. I will upload the solutions in the next video. If you like the video, please do like, share and subscribe. Thank you for watching this video.